In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate but equally important groups. The police who investigate the crimes and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Thank you to Michael Scott for that intro. I hope all my Office fans appreciated that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this crime scene design. I've done this pretty much every year since I started my Instagram. And since it's such a popular design of mine, I wanted to give you guys a more detailed, in-depth tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So to start, I'm using the straw to do the paint splatter method. Uh, at some point I got a little frustrated because paint was getting all over the paper but not on the nail. So I just took the straw and dabbed it on. You guys can use a white base or a nude base if you want. I just went with black because that's how I did it the first time around and all the other nails were black. So moving on to the caution tape, I'm just taking this striping brush and some yellow polish and creating this thick line across my middle finger and my ring finger. If you don't get your lines as straight as you would like, just take some black acrylic paint and a smaller brush and even them out. I really like black paint bases for that reason because they're easy to fix. Then I'm moving on to the index finger and when I first saw people do this, they used stamps and I kind of was like, well, I don't stamp, so what do I do? And then I realized that your fingerprint is basically a stamp. So I just added some acrylic paint to my index finger and swiped it off and rolled it over onto my index on the other hand. And you want to make sure that you work quickly because acrylic paint will dry fast. If you don't want to worry about that, you can always use polish, but polish is just harder to clean up, so I like to use acrylic paint. Then I'm taking a smaller detailed brush and black acrylic paint and just writing over that yellow polish I had applied. You can write whatever you want. I wrote caution and then I wrote do not cross on the other nail. You can write crime scene. I just went with what's on crime scene tape usually. And then I realized I had forgotten to sponge on some gray polish. It's just to add a little bit of depth and not just have a plain black base. I waited to top coat everything and let it dry before I washed the acrylic paint off my index finger. You can definitely wash it beforehand, but just make sure that you don't clean the acrylic paint off of your nail because acrylic paint will come off with water. And then you're all done. I love this design. I love the fingerprint. I think it's like one of the best things I've ever done. And this is definitely my most popular design and my most popular tutorial. So I wanted to make sure that I got one on YouTube for you guys. Please tag me on Instagram if you recreate this. I love seeing all of your recreations, especially for this design because you guys have so much fun with it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.